Welcome back to regular viewers, and if you're a first-timer, stick around. I love cooking hacks. It's the use of convenienced and packaged foods to help in the cooking process. We all have busy lives. I also don't like the power-hungry things like an oven. I use the slow cooker, halogen, air fryer, induction hob and the microwave. Let's see what we can do with those. If you like what you see today, please subscribe. Feel free to share and comment. I can be followed on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you Hi folks, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back to Chris Tube <laughs> Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some uh, bacon and brie bread. Uh, now, we're going to start off with, um, I've got some brie. Uh, I've got 400 grams of chopped brie. I've got 200 grams of fried bacon. Um, don't how you're liking, crispy or not. I've got a packet of just plain bread mix. Um, this is just plain white. I have got a name brand here, but you can go with any one, it doesn't matter. And I've got some water. We're also going to be making it in the slow cooker. Really nice way of doing it. You don't have to prove it, it just goes straight in in there. So, let's start off with uh, opening up the, the, uh, the bread. Now it's easy to get this mix because it has everything that you need in it. It's got the yeast, the correct flour, all that sort of stuff. And it comes in a handy packet. Now this you can, they, they say you can make this in the bread maker. Fine, yeah, you can. But you can also make it other ways. So, to this I'm going to add my bacon. And I'm going to put in, oh, that was clever. <laughs> 320 mils of lukewarm water. Okay, and we're going to set that off with a kneading arm. You can do this by hand, there's no reason, I've just got the mixer so why not use a mixer? Now you can, there's different types of the, the bread. You can get tomato bread, which would be really nice. Um, you can get, um, well, you can get sourdough. I don't think it would be too, too nice as with brie in it. Um, so I've just decided to go with the, um, the plain, um, plain white bread at this point. I did think about the tomato, but... Um, <laughs> Let's go with the plate at this point. I'd say that bread's ready. Well, it's, it's, um, Mixed, put it that way. Right, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to let it rest for a bit because the recipe says that we leave it resting for five minutes. So we'll come back in five minutes once it's had a little time to rest. Okay, guys, so this has been resting for a little while. I'm now going to add in half of the brie. The um, reason I'm going to do this is because I want some of the brie to be like ground up into it and some to be in chunks, which I will just add in at the very last minute. So we're going to put that back in and knead again until that's incorporated. does tend to go onto the hook quite quite a, a bit. Once this is mixed in, I'll give it a good kneading on the work surface and then we'll um, we'll bake it.
So because of the extra moisture from the cheese that I've just added in, it's made it a little more stickier than it should be. But that's okay because once you start kneading it, the flour on the table will um, start incorporating it. So I think that should be about done actually. Now this messy part, we knead. And we knead here for two minutes or so. Nothing like kneading to build up the muscles. The more you knead it, the better it's going to be. It's not going to be quite as tough because you've broken down some of the gluten. So it is advisable to do it for that full two minutes, despite how sore your arm gets. Now, we've got to add in the remaining bits of brie. So this is, I'm going to sprinkle in the brie, fold it over and into itself, knead it for a bit, spread out some more, some more of the brie in. So what you see, what you should see when this is all made up is that you'll have big chunks of brie inside the, the bread as well as the flavor of the brie uh, which should be incorporated into the, you know, the, the first bit we put in. All right. And by this stage, you're, it should be coming quite wet again. That's it, so, roll it over, fold it in, get our slow, our slow cooker, our slow cooker, I've put a liner in it, see, uh, chuck the bread in, now this is important, don't put the lid on, just get a tea towel and cover it, don't put the lid, put it on high, for three hours and leave it that's it three hours time that'll be a lovely loaf of bread so come back in three hours time let's have a see what, what it's like in the meantime I'll clean up hey guys okay so we've had our, our bread now it's been on the go for uh, three and a half hours from my time but look at that isn't that lovely oh all right careful it's hot Right, okay, you can't see that in the uh, camera, I'm sure you can see the one above. Let's see what this is like. Ooh. Right. So, 
nice. It's a nice hollow sand of the basement, bottom. Oh. Okay, oh, it is hot. It's uh, nice and spongy on the top, good colour underneath. Don't know if you can hear that. They're fairly, fairly solid. Now, I'm tempted to cut it, but I think it's too early to cut it quite now. So I say check back in, um, say, half an hour, 45 minutes, and we'll see how, um, how it is when it's a little bit cooler. But uh, I'm happy with that so far. Hi okay, guys, so um, it's now had time to cool down. You can see how lovely it looks inside, with the bits of brie and the bacon. I have cut a slice and I've tried it already. It's delicious, it really is good. But it's um, nice solid on the outside. You will find that it goes, it has a very really cr hard crust on it and it might look a bit like it's not cooked on top, but it is cooked, trust me. So three to three and a half hours, depending on, on your um, slow cooker. Let's see, taste test now. Mmm, it's lovely, it's very nice. I can certainly taste the brie. Um, perhaps not as much bacon. I should put more bacon in next time. Uh, so, mm. You may want to put more bacon in than my recipe. But it's lovely, it's soft bread. It is hay, it's homemade, and the smell of homemade bread is lovely. So there you go. Bread in the slow cooker, three and a half hours. I hope you, enjoy, you try it, enjoy it. See you guys. If you like what you see today, please subscribe. Feel free to share and comment I can be followed on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you there.